Hi everybody, so today I decided to try video reviewing a book for the first time. So today I'm going to be talking about Pamela by Samuel Richardson. So before I ever so much as picked up a copy of Pamela, I was pretty sure that I would hate it. I had heard so many people talk about how it dragged on and on, and how characters were flat and annoying, how the plot was not believable, and so on and so forth, and I just couldn't imagine that I would like a book like this. Well, I was wrong. I actually really enjoyed Pamela. And I'm not saying it's my favorite book now or anything like that, but it was interesting and it was fairly enjoyable. And yes, the criticisms are true, but for me and for this book, somehow it was okay. And I think one of the, the big reasons for that was just because I had such low expectations of it. I was so thoroughly expecting to hate it that um, I was pleasantly surprised. So there's that. But in any case, I think that the book is a little more complex than it may seem at first glance. And... I mean, whether Richardson intended it to be that way or not. And so I just made a little list of some of the things that I think are worth looking into and thinking about in uh, Pamela as, as you're reading it. So number one is that Pamela may or may not really be as perfect as she seems. Nearly everything that we know about Pamela is what she's written about herself. And I think that's important to remember. When she recounts every detail of the praise that nearly everyone she meets gives her, she really didn't have to include that. She has her vanity, she has her pride, and what's more, I mean, why does she fall in love with Squire B in the first place? Uh, the only reasons I can think of is that he's handsome, and he's made a lot of moves on her, and he's kind of a bad boy. So, we need to question, how virtuous is she really at heart, and also, is she a reliable narrator? Can we trust everything that she says? Um, number two, and this might be obvious, but... Pamela is just interesting as one of the very first novels that was written in the English language. Everyone was still trying to figure out what made a novel good and whether the novel was even a form worth writing in. Um, and if you ask me, Pamela is actually pretty interesting in comparison with some of the other novels that were written at the time. And also, the book made a ton of commotion. It was very popular in its time and it was kind of like the twilight of its time, I think. Uh, not to make a comparison between the writing, but everyone either loved it or hated it. You had people lauding Pamela's virtue from the pulpit, and then you had people um, writing parodies like Shamala. And so it was a big deal. And naturally, you want to learn what all the fuss was about. You want to you wanna see whether it was worth such popularity and why it was so popular. And number three... Pamela may seem like she is the epitome of weakness to our modern eyes. We understand a lot of concepts of feminism and things like that that they hadn't really thought about back then. But if you if you think about it, she's managed to do a lot of things that most women in her position at that time would never be able to do. She's reformed and married an aristocrat, and then she just settles into her place as an aristocratic lady and wins over every single person in the narrative to her side. And that is pretty amazing. She has her charisma, her persuasive powers, and she, I mean, she has power in this novel. And that's important to remember. You might think, you know, because of the way that she talks, because of the way that other people talk in the book, we have a tendency to just kind of put a sexist stamp on it and to just leave it after that. But I do think that it's important to recognize that Pamela did have some power in this novel and to ask ourselves, what does that mean and why is it important? So... Anyway, there's just a few ideas that I had about the book while I was reading it and after I read it and in the class discussions that I've had about it. So, whether you read Pamela or you're thinking about reading it and you're afraid to, I think it's important to think about these ideas and to ask ourselves if we're really giving Pamela as much thought as we should. And if you're thinking about reading it, I would encourage you to do it. Um, I was kind of afraid to read it, like I said, but... I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of even a fun read at times. And so, <clears throat> even if you just see it as an antiquated relic of times past, I still think it's worth reading and worth understanding.